This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Taja Davis. Now this morning, more than 175,000 volunteers gathered across the country to honor and remember the lives of service members. It's part of the annual Wreaths Across America. Sharon Jones is a Gold Star mother, meaning her child died serving in the military. And this is the ninth year the Tucson chapter has helped with the event. Jones explains why this ceremony is so important for families like hers. So that nobody forgets our sons and daughters. It's very important to all of us that they're remembered for their courageous uh, efforts that they put over there. Tucson Gold Star mothers collected 1,500 wreaths for today's ceremony. They laid them out at East Lawn Palms Cemetery, and there were also ceremonies in Sierra Vista and Bisbee. Some brand new wheels presented to veterans at the Arizona State Veterans Home today, and those wheels came in the form of a golf cart donated by the American Legion Riders Oral Valley Chapter 132. The golf cart holds six people at a time, including a wheelchair. Organizers presented the cart to the people who live there at their Christmas party this afternoon. The home houses veterans who served in Vietnam, Korea, and World War II, and organizers say this cart will help the veterans get to appointments faster and keep them out of the heat, cold, and the rain. Now, the Tucson Wildlife Center is offering up a unique holiday gift idea, the ability to adopt a javelina. TWC meets sponsors for Matilda. She came to them injured and pregnant and too tame to go back into the wild. Center officials say they could tell she was raised by people because she waltzed right into their clubhouse and fell asleep on the couch watching TV. Matilda had her babies and is now healthy, but she'll never be able to live in the wild. They're asking sponsors to donate $100 to help pay for her care. Let's go ahead and check in on our weather with Brian Brennan. Brian. Hey, you know, overnight, our temperatures will be a lot like they were last night. We'll drop into the 40s in Tucson and we'll warm up into the mid 60s. So a 10 degree drop or so thanks to some colder weather moving in also a bit of a breeze in the afternoon after that that cold air settles in we will be in the mid 30s in the overnight hours especially monday uh, night into tuesday morning and also a few days in the 60s before we warm back up towards 70 by the weekend touch thank you brian for more news and weather updates head to our website kgun9.com and follow us on social media